what's up guys and welcome to part 5 of tutorial series on how to train custom document classifier with aws comprehend service in the previous tutorial we have successfully created the test document now in this tutorial we are going to perform classification on the test document that we have created in the previous tutorial uh, using our custom document classifier so let's get started so we are going to start with uploading the test document to the s3 bucket right so we'll jump to the s3 management console and i have already created the bucket probably uh, in the previous one of the tutorial right so that is component classifier so it's the same bucket in which we have uploaded the train.csv file right so here we are going to upload the test.csv so we'll simply drag and drop here so while it is uploading i just want to make sure that uh, in the previous tutorial while, tutorial while creating the test.csv document we have shuffled the data right so my shuffle data and your shuffle data might be different so there is there's no need to uh, worry about that yeah so test.csv uh, successfully uploaded right and now we will jump to the component service so once we are here uh, we will jump to the job management right and within the job management we are going to um, click on create job right so this is uh, one of the way uh, where you can uh, create the job right uh, the another way to create the job is ju just jump to the custom classification and we can simply select the classifier name right and here is an another option for creating the job or the creating the classification job right so either we can create from here or either we can jump to job management and we can create from here right so here uh, we need to uh, fill up some co configuration right so the job name uh, i'll say job one right in the analysis type it's going to be custom classification right and in the classifier there will be your classifier name that is c1 right so if as you can see there are lots of other uh, analysis type right like entries key phrases and uh, these are the few that is built in right and under custom there is two option available that is custom classification and custom entity recognition right so right now it's custom classification for us right but probably uh, maybe uh, I might do a series on custom entity recognition, right? So we'll go with custom classification, uh, our classifier as C1, right? Now again the input data here we need to uh, input or provide the test.csv URI, right? So that is again we'll click on search folder. It's the same uh, process that we did uh, while training or configuring the training classifier, right? So we'll select component classifier, select, and we'll simply put here test dot csv, right? And the input format is optional, uh, but as we know uh, what our input format is, it's basically uh, one document per line, right? So I'll select one document per line now the another panel is for output data so where we want to uh, store the predicted file or predicted outcome right so i'm going to save in the same bucket uh, that is component classifier I'll select it now in the iam role uh, we are going to use the existing iam role right that we have created in the previous tutorial yes so that is comprehend custom right and once everything is configured every field uh, has been filled up right uh, we'll simply click on create job right so as you can see it's saying job one was submitted successfully right 
and here we can see the status right so I will simply uh, reload this page oh it's saying fail so let's check no write access to output so uh, there is a problem with the IAM role right so if you remember then uh, the role that we have that comprehend has created is basically the read permission right because while training the data all it needs to read the file from s3 bucket right so it, it won't provide the write permission at that point of time right so what we will do here is uh, we will jump to the iam role right and we will assign the write access to that role so that um, it can store or it can write the output in that bucket right so our role was comprehend custom that is this one right so as, as you can see here uh, probably in the JSON policy right so it says s3 bucket it, it only have permission to list and read right so what we will do here is uh, we'll click on attach policies and here we'll provide s3 full access right so probably uh, it will give the right access and we'll say attach policy now once this is done uh, we will jump back to comprehend right and what we'll do is uh, we will simply copy and edit the existing job that we have just created so what it will do is it will just copy all the configuration uh, within this right and what we can do is uh, we can just change the name for the identification purpose so i will say job to here and rest of the thing remains same and i will say create job so now job 2 is submitted successfully I will probably reload this page so it will take some time uh, not the same time as it took for the training right but probably uh, less time so it is in progress So as we can see that job 2 or the classification job has been successfully completed right so the status has changed to completed right so let's go ahead and click on job 2 and see uh, what it have right so basically this is the job details probably the things that we have configured like analysis type the name right the input data location probably the dash dot csv and the classifier name right that is c1 Apart from that, uh, there is an output data location, uh, so the output will be stored in the component classifier, right? And yeah, I mean, uh, that's it, that's all it, it have, right? So let's go ahead and check in the S3 bucket, uh, right? So we'll jump to S3 bucket. So we'll check in component classifier, right? so as we can see the uh, directory has been created right so let's go ahead and check that so output output dot r dot cz again with an output yeah so basically this is the file or this is the predicted outcome of our test file right so this is how uh, we can perform classification on the test document right using probably the custom classifier or the custom document classifier right so probably i will cut the video here and in the next tutorial we are going to validate the predicted data or the predicted response by our classifier right so we are going to write some script and we are going to validate this outcome against the test underscore through dot csv right that we have uh, created in the previous tutorial or in the tutorial for while creating the uh, dash document right so yeah uh, that's it for now uh, and as usual uh, if you want me to do the tutorial or on any specific service or use case you have then please leave them in comment i will try my best to come up with the tutorial for the same 
If you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.